Hello and welcome to the Musical Instrument Investigator. Today we are on the website of Ingalls and Heyday and we're going to have a look at their March auction. So today is the 28th of March and this particular auction is uh, finishing on the 29th of March. So this is an auction based in the UK in London and the buyer's premium is 20% so that's the percentage of the final hammer price you pay on top at the end um, as always if you are from abroad then um, you need to kind of uh, put into consideration the fact that there's import and export fees and other kind of shipping stuff and sometimes there's some extra tax so uh, bear that in mind look at all the kind of information here uh, and kind of do your research before you bid uh, like I said there's still kind of just about a day left on this so I'll put a link in the description and you can kind of check it out yourself um, so without further ado let's kind of go to the bid online bit so we can kind of see what's uh, occurring um, so we have 193 items in this cell so it's quite a lot and one thing I will just say actually is that I did go to the viewing of this sale um, actually at the at the weekend um, so I did have a look at a lot of the items a few of the violins and things in person not all of them uh, but definitely a few uh, and it was definitely an interesting sale and there's some interesting items I was a little bit kind of unsure of the way that some of the instruments were presented as in they all seem to be quite highly polished which is something I'm not really a massive fan of and I don't really advocate kind of doing that but I know that some players are kind of used to that kind of highly polished finish um, and also in America I think that's very common but um, I am not a fan of that I'm afraid so I was a little bit uh, kind of felt a little bit let down uh, by that but that's just a personal kind of preference because uh, it makes it a bit difficult to really understand what you're looking at sometimes when things are too shiny you can't really see like the some of the details um, but like I said that's just my opinion anyway so um, without further ado and more of my ranting without much going on on the screen um, let's begin so we have a book here we have uh, Giovanni Acornero Luteria and Arco Cremona 2013 uh, two bids on that at 40 pounds I don't think there's anything much we need to say about this maybe we should zoom out a little bit because it's resetting in a kind of uh, weird way for some reason um, then we have um, Charles Beer Antonio Stradivari, uh, Stradivari London 1993 there's two bids we we're up to 160 there we've got a book uh, Peter Bidolf Giuseppe uh, Guarneri del Gesù London 1998 four bids at 400 we see that this always goes for big money so it's probably going to end up going for about a thousand pounds or something like that let's zoom out a bit more because we're still into this weird uh, zone here Eric Blotz Luteria Italiana Cremona 1995 to 2001 240 pounds is bid on that uh, Eric Blot and Laura uh, Marcolini uh, Stefano Scarampella Cremona 2002 90 pounds bid on that so far uh, lot six x william watson sydney bowden Peugeot book london 1991 220 is the kind of bid on that i'm not sure why it's always reverting down to the bottom there it's quite irritating um lot seven paul charles the bow makers of the pacat family new york 1996 100 pounds bid on that and lot eight john dilworth andrew fairfax and john milnes the Voller brothers oxford 2006 is 80 pounds on that the Voller brothers very interesting uh, characters uh, lot nine David L Ful uh, Fulton the Fulton collection book London 2021 40 to 6 pounds the estimates already on 130 then we've got Herbert Goodkind violin iconography of Antonio Stradivari got 190 pounds on that so far then we've got Gronke Schmidt and Zunterer Deutsche Bogenmarker Germany 2000 170 pounds on that the German bow makers uh, then we have Walter Hammer, Meister Italianische, uh, Geigen, Bekunst, uh, Germany 1987, so £40 bid on that so far. I've got another Walter Hammer book uh, and another book about Stradivari there, £60 bid. 
Then we have the Hill book on violin makers of the Guarneri family. Got 190 on that. And Hills on the Stradivari and Guarneri and Great Missenden. Um, 130 on that so far. Andrew Hooker, Mr. Black's Violin, Boston 2009, £50 bid on that. Um, then we've got Le Luthiers Francais, Paris 1995 by LNV Le Canu, £150 bid on that. Uh, now we have Florian Leonard and Stephen Peter Griner, Jean Baptiste Villon, 1998. We've got £90 bid on that. And let's just kind of quickly check something here. Um, yep, we've got. Ooh, picture there uh, Raphael Lucci and Rodolfo Marcini uh, talking about Luteria again uh, Cremona 2010 is 150 pounds is the bid then we've got the Millet and Raffin Larcher Paris 2000 all about the French bows 1110 pounds I think that's pretty popular now Max Muller the violin makers of the low countries Amsterdam 1955 70 pounds bid on that interesting uh, David Rattrow, Violin Making Scotland, 1750 to 1950, also 2006, £20 is a bid on that. Uh, Joseph Roder, both for Musical Instruments, Chicago, 1959, £110 on that. That is actually quite a big book, actually, in physical size. It's pretty big. Sotheby's, the Sam and Reed Bloomfield Foundation, London, 1988, £10 is, I know it's no bids on that so far. Uh, and Artemio Vasari, Lutria. Uh, Moderna in Emilia Romana, Cremona, 2006, £70 is the bid on that. Um, Le Conte uh, Cosio de Salabu, Cremona, 2005, there's £60 bid on that. Le Lutria Lombardia del 900, Cremona, 2002, £20 bid on that. Les Trésors de la Lutherie Francais, £130 bid on that. Lutria uh, Piemontes, Annabelle uh, Fagnola, uh, Cremona 1999, £70. Uh, sorry, I'm going madder. Let's go previous. Uh, um, uh, £60 bid on that so far. I'm reading the wrong thing. I'm reading the bid mark. Uh, Stradivari, uh, 2013 Ashmolean Museum Exhibition, Oxford 2013, £30 is bid on that. And three random violin books, Arthur Bogsy 2 there. Uh, more hill kind of related stuff and other bits. £30 bid on that. Three violin books there. Got Peter Bidolf on Guano del Jesu, something about Viome, and we've got uh, GB Guadagnini as well. £90 bid on that. Quite more, a lot more books than I remember. A uh, signed photograph of Yehudi Menuhin, 1978, £320 on that, so that's going well. A uh, photograph and autograph of Yasser Heifetz, 1925, £400, that doesn't surprise me. Photograph and autograph of uh, Guia Bustabo, 1935, got £200 bid on that. Signed photograph of Ruggiero uh, Ricci, and no bids on that so far. Two engravings of Paganini, 19th century, £160 bid on that. A mahogany 7 8 cello case by W. E. Hilton Son, London mid 20th century so there's 50 pounds bid on that uh, we're on to violins now a violin by Riccardo Bugonzi Cremona 2002 this is one of the makers that we see in all the auctions fairly uh, consistently there 35.5 is length of back there's an import tax on that so you need to bear that in mind 6,000 is the current bid on that it's a bit uh, small to see then we've got a violin by Sebastian Klotz I, Mittenwald, circa 1750, 9,500 is the bid on that so far, 35.6 is the length of back. And a violin by Karol Pilla, Hadrek uh, Krelov, 1928, 3.500 is bid on that. Mm, no picture of the back on that one, that's a bit weird. 35.3 uh, though is the, is the length. A violin probably by Ricardo Genovese, uh, Montiglio, uh, 1925. We've got six and a half thousand on that so far. And we have 35.7 length of back. That's standard kind of tax there. So you need to just watch out that some have got kind of an import tax if they come from abroad. So you need to bear that in mind at the final price. A violin by Jules Galliard de la Joux, Miracle, 1859. No bids on this one so far. 
Uh, I think these are all ones that I haven't looked at. 36.1, it's a little bit kind of on the large side. Violin by Giovanni Gheda, Ivrea, 1933. Got 11,000 is the bid on that. Estimate is 15 to 25, so it's a little bit uh, off so far. Um, and it's 34.5. It's got a certificate from Carlson and Newman Cremona from 2021, so at least you don't need to buy a certificate. Violin by Stefano Cornia, Cremona 2021, £5,000 there. It's another maker that we see quite a lot uh, in the auctions. Uh, 35.7 is the back uh, certificate of the maker from 2021. So, and a violin by Honoré de Rezy, Mirko 1862, 14000 is a bit of that popular maker that kind of viome association there um 35.7 is the length of back and a violin by carlo giuseppe odone uh turin 1922 45 000, uh two bids on that so 50 to 70 is the uh is the estimate at uh, 35.9 it's fairly kind of big so this one has an import tax of five percent so it's all all a bit all over the place so definitely make sure that you check for your bid uh, a violin by amadie dudoin miracle 1937 there's four thousand pounds on that the estimate is three to five 35.3 is the length of back there violin by alfred vincent london 1926 10 bids that's four thousand eight hundred 35.4 is the length of back there interesting maker that's quite popular and a violin by Jean-Baptiste de Chez Salomon, Paris uh, Circuit 1750, 6,000 is bid on that, 6 to 8 is the estimate. I really like this maker, I think it's a very underestimated uh, French maker there, 35.3 is the length of that, really like some of the cellos as well that this maker does, so yeah, a good, interesting French maker. A uh, violin by Ettore Sofriti, Ferrara, uh, 1911. Got £32,000 bid on that. Looks fairly nice. Uh, 35.6 is the length of back. It's got a reunion and sun certificate, so that's pretty decent as well. Uh, violin Circle of Mario Garda, Italy, circa 1970. So it's got no bids on that so far. Um, 35.7 is the length of back there. Violin by Alfredo Giannotti, Milan 1989, 4,800 is the current bid. And 35.5 is the length of back. Now a violin by Enrico Cerucci in Gatano and Cianazzi, Cremona, circa 1875, 48,000 on that. It's a little bit off from the estimate, but we still have a day to go. Uh, 35.6, certificate reunion in sun. Violin by Charles Jean Baptiste Colin Mazin, uh, the first, Paris 1891, 3800 is the bid on that. Everyone likes these for some reason, 35.8, they're always popular. Uh, violin after the Chrysler Guarneri by, uh, Guarneri by Louise Bellini, New York 1993, um, 18,000 is the current bid. It looks fairly nice. Maybe we'll have a look at that uh, back a bit more. Not this is particularly the best way to look at it. Um, and we have uh, 35.4 is the length of back. Violin by Francesco Ruggeri, Cremona, 1675. No bids so far on this. Um, 35.1 is the length of back. Certificate from William Hill. Certificate of Roland Baumgartner um, and a receipt as well in the 80s. Interesting. Violin, 20th century. No bids so far. 35.8 uh, length of back. You can request um, additional information as well and condition report. A violin, probably by Emidio Solani, Ascolio, Ascoli Piceno, circa 1890. Two bids, 7,000. Estimates 8 to 12. Length of back, it's 35. Interesting scroll. 
and a violin by Jean-Baptiste Villon, Paris 1845, for one bid, 120000 Well, Ingalls and Heyday do hold the record for the Villon, the highest price paid for a Villon auction, so I think they're always going to do well with Villons. 35.9 is their length of back, numbered 1688 internally. And a violin by Alessandro Galliano, Naples, circa 1710, four bids, 180,000, so uh, this is a popular one. 35.4 is the length of back, certificate from William Lewis and Son, Chicago, and William Hills and Son as well. Absolutely a nice uh, example there. And we're on a silver mount of violin bow by Charles Nicholas Bazin, Mirkor, circa 1885. Um, Guillaume certificate there, no bids. Silver mount of violin bow by JTL, £1,200 is the bid, I don't think we need to go too much into that. Silver mount of violin bow by Bernard Ushar Geneva, circa 1960, £1,600 is bid on that. Um, a gold mount of violin bow by Albert Nuremberg and Mark Nikirk in circa 1920, got 2,600 is bid on that. Silver mount of violin bow by Albert Nuremberg and Mark Nikirk in circa 1920, got 1,700 pounds on that one. Silver mount of violin bow by W.E. Hill and Sons, 1959, uh, we've got 1,900 bid on that. I'll just say that uh, Ingalls and Heyday, the things they sell are usually in pretty decent-ish condition and kind of playable and set up there's only usually a few things that are kind of a little bit uh, of a project based thing so most of this stuff we can assume is kind of fairly good kind of uh, condition an ivory mount of violin bow by john dodd london early 19th century so it's 1100 is the opening bid for that there's no bids kind of so far and a silver mount of violin bow by pierre Meline, mirko circa 1910 1600 is the uh, uh, current, or is it even? I'm not sure if it's actually. Was there a bid on that? They had one bid, 1600, getting a bit confused there. Silver Mount of Ireland by Eugene Cunio Huri, Paris, circa 1910. No bids on this one so far. And a nickel Mount of Ireland by Charles Lewis Bazaar, Mirkor, uh, 1925. No bids on that one either. And a silver mount of Ireland by Eugene Satori, Paris, circa 1910, 9,000 bid on that, 12 to 18 is the estimate, always popular. It's got a certificate from Cabinet de Architier. And a silver mount of Ireland by Jules Fatigue, Paris, circa 1920, no bids on that one so far. A silver mount of Ireland by Joseph Arthur Vignoron, Paris, circa 1900. So with a Raffin certificate there, two bids, 8,000. Silver Mount of Ireland Bow by Joseph Alfred Lamy, Paris, circa 1900. No bids so far. And Nickel Mount of Ireland Bow by Jean-Joseph Martin, Mirkel, circa 1880, 1900 is the opening bid, but there's no bids so far. Silver Mount of Ireland Bow Workshop of Victor Fatigue, Paris, circa 1920. No bids so far either. Gold Mount of Ireland Bow by James Tubbs, London, circa 1890. No bids. And Silver Mount of Ireland Bow by James Tubbs, London, circa 1890. One bid on that one, 3,000. Silver Mount of Ireland Bow by James Tubbs, London, circa 1890. No bids. Good for you English bows. Silver Mount of Ireland Bow by James Tubbs for W. E. Hill and Son. Okay, 1865. Five bids on that. 3,200. Stamp W. E. Hill. Silver Mount of Ireland Bow ascribed to Francois Xavier uh, Taut. 15 to 20,000 is the estimate. And it's uh, 11,000 is the current bid. Sold with a Milant uh, certificate there. Excellent, so, saying that it's, this was acquired from JB Viome, and a Viome apparently claimed to have bought it directly from Tort. Interesting. 
a cello, England or Scotland, early 19th century, 4,500 is the current bid. Nice scroll, I like that. I didn't really look at the cellos too much, I must be honest. The cello France, late 19th century, 4,800 is the bid on that. A cello by Ricardo Bergonzi, Cremona, 1999. No bids on that. And a cello by Gandon Bernadel Frères, Paris, 1879. No bids on that, 50 to 70. That's quite an interesting uh, back for sure. Certific uh, Rampol certificate, Alfred Verdudes certificate, and a receipt. Cello by David C. Mowbray, Leith, 1929. No bids on that. Cello by Benjamin Banks, Salisbury, 1786, 12,000 is the current bid, 15 to 20,000 is the estimate. Good old Benjamin Banks, nice work. Sold with a copy of certificate from W.E. Hill Sons. A cello by Francesco uh, Ruggieri, Cremona, circa 1860. Nice, we've got a bid of 350,000 on that already, so that's pretty substantial, 350 to... 500,000 is the estimate, so it looks like a nice example. Sold a certificate of William Moaning and Son Philadelphia, 1972, 5% import tax on that one. A uh, silver mounted cello by Charles Louis Bazaar, Miracle 1930, it's up to 3,000. Gold and tortoiseshell mounted cello by Andre Vigneron, Paris, circa 1910, 5 bids, it's up to 3,000. Nickel mounted cello bow by Charles Louis Bazin, Mirkor, circa 1930. No bids so far. Silver mounted cello bow by Emile Francois Huchard, Mirkor, circa 1925. Four bids, 4,200. Uh, silver mounted cello bow by Auguste Lenoble, Paris, circa 1880. Three bids, and a silver mounted cello by Victor Fatigue Paris, uh, circa 1930, two bids, it's on 5,000. And a nickel mounted cello bow by Clermont Ulri, Mirko, circa 1850, one bid, 6,000. 8 to 12 is the uh, estimate there. Bernard Millant uh, certificate. A quartet of chased gold and tortoiseshell mounted bows by William Watson, London, 1978. 10 to 15,000 is the uh, estimate. We've got 8,000 so far in a bow box. That's quite interesting. Unusual to see see that. Definitely curious. Odd that there's no other picture of the uh, the heads. That's a bit strange. Uh, Chase Golden Tortoiseshell Mounted Cello Bow by William Watson, London 1965. 3,200 is the uh, estimate. Looks nice uh, details and uh, engraving there. Definitely interesting. Chase Golden Tortoiseshell Mad Cheddar Bow by William Watson London, circa 1970, 3200. Here's the opening bid. Chase Gold Mounted Cheddar Bow by William Watson London, circa 1970. Two bids were on 3000 there. And a Chase Golden Tortoiseshell Mad Cheddar Bow by William Watson London, circa 1990. No bids so far. And a gold mounted cello bow by William Watson, London, circa 2000. No bids either. Chase Golden Tortoiseshell mounted cello bow, William Watson, London, 2008. No bids on that either. And a gold mounted cello bow by William Watson, London, circa 2010. 2600 of the bids. Golden Tortoiseshell mounted fleur de lis violin bow by W. E. Hills and Son, London, 1962. 2800 is current bid. Chase Golden Tortoiseshell Mountain Violin Bow by William Watson, London, circa 1980. 2400 is the current bid. Chase Golden Tortoiseshell Mountain Violin Bow by William Watson, London, circa 1990. 2400 is the current bid. Chase Gold Mountain Violin Bow by William Watson, London, 2003. No bids as yet. A Golden Tortoiseshell Mountain Violin Bow by William Watson, London, circa 2010. 1900 is the bidding on that, so a golden tortoiseshell mounted violin bow by William Watson, London, circa 2010. 
two bit at two thousand either. Someone's getting rid of a collection there. Uh, Gold Mountain Run and Boat by William Watson, London Circuit 2010, uh, 1900. I didn't actually look at any uh, bows in person, I have to be honest. Three wooden bow boxes, England 20th century, that's £280 bid on that. Um, X Weiser, a gold mounted violin bow by Wilhelm Hermann Hammig, Leipzig Circuit 1900. 1300 is the uh, current bid. An X Pfizer silver mounted violin bow by Marcel Lapierre Mirkor, circa 1940. No bids on that one as yet. An X Pfizer silver and tortoiseshell mounted fleur de lis violin bow by W. E. Hilton Son, London 1935. Three and a half thousand is the current bid. Looks quite tidy. X Pfizer silver mounted violin bow by James Tubbs, London circa 1910. One bid, 4,200. X Vicer, uh, a gold mounted violin bow by James Tubbs, London, circa 1885, 2400. X Vicer, a uh, gold mounted violin bow, Dodd family, London, circa 1820. No bids on that one so far. Uh, Viola, France, circa 1900. Um, it's 39.8, is the length of back. Viola by John Betts, London, circa 1800. They're always quite nice no bids on that so far um, 38.6 copy of a certificate from the hill shop v viola by Henry Ferber London circa 1880 and wonder if this is quite large 4800 is the thing 41.4 yeah I think there are a lot of the Ferber violas are on the slightly larger side a viola by Joseph Hill London 1778 no bids on that so far, 39.7. Uh, and a viola bow by Paysold is in the case. And a viola by Gasparo uh, Pietellini, Florence, circa 1761 bid there, 48,060 to 80 is the, uh, is the estimate. 40.1 is the length of back, sold a certificate of JNA Beer London from 2007. Silver mounted viola bow by W. E. Hill and Sons London, 1931. No bids. Uh, gold mounted viola bow by Klaus Gronka, Bovenruth, circa 1990, one bid, 1500. Silver mounted viola bow by Louis Panormo, London, circa 1840. No bids so far. Silver mounted viola bow by James Dodd, London, mid 19th century, one bid of 1800. Silver mounted viola bow by Louis uh, Joseph Moisel, Mirko, circa 1950, 1900. Uh, is the current bid. Silver mounted viola bow by Moisson Frère, Mirko, circa 1940. No bids as yet. Silver mounted viola bow by Georges Emile Bargenet, Mirko, circa 1940. Three to five thousand. There's no bids on that so far. And a nickel mounted viola bow by Francois Picat, Mirko, circa 1845. Six to eight thousand. Four bids are up to six thousand so far. Certificate of Isaac Salso. New York from 2010. Nickel mounted violin bow by Emile Francois Uchard, circa 1930. No bids on this one so far. Silver mounted violin bow by Claude Thompson, Mirko, circa 1920. No bids as of yet. And a gold and tortoiseshell violin bow frog and adjuster, probably by Etienne Pajot, Paris, circa 1835. No bids on that. And a silver mounted violin bow by Etienne Pajot, Paris, circa 1830. 17,000, two bids on that. 20 to 30 is the estimate. It's got a Pierre Guillaume certificate. Nickel mounted violin bow by Joseph Gaud, uh, Mirecourt, circa uh, 1840. No bids on that so far. And a silver mounted violin bow by Jean Joseph uh, Martin, Mirecourt, circa 1880. One bid on that, three and a half thousand. Nickel mounted violin bow by Jean Joseph Martin, Paris, circa 1875. No bids on that so far. Nickel mounted violin bow by Claude Thomason, Mirko, circa 1905. No bids on that. Silver mounted violin bow by James Dodd, London, circa 1850. No bids on that one. Silver mounted violin bow, School of Nicholas Mayer, France, mid 19th century. One bid of four and a half thousand. Five to eight is the estimate. Silver mounted violin bow, follower of Dominique Pacat. No bids on that so far. Nickel mounted violin bow by Nicholas Simon, Mirko, circa 1855. No 
no bids. Uh, Nicola Mantovano go by Nicholas Simon Mirko 1860, no bids on that. And then Nicola Mantovano probably by Lewis Joseph Morizon, Mirko 1925, no bids there. And Silver Mount of Alambo by, by Emile Francois Ushar and Field, Mirko 2nd 1925, no bids on that, these are getting a bit less interesting. Silver Mount of Alambo by Claude Thomas in Paris, circa 1915, one bid, 2600. Silver Mount of Alambo by Claude Thomas in Paris, circa 1890, one bid of 2600. Silver Mount of Alambo by Emile Francois Ushar and Field, Mirko, circa 1925, two bids, 2400. Silver Mounted Vinyl Bow by Emile Francois Ushar, Mirko, circa 1925, one bid, 1800. Uh, Silver and Ebony Cello Bow, Fog and Adjuster, probably by William Tubbs of London, circa 1860. Um, there's no um, opening bid, 750, so interesting. Um, an assortment of frogs. Uh, Nickel Mounted Charles Violin Bow by Victor Fatigue Paris, circa 1920. And a Silver Mounted Violin Bow by Charles Nicholas Bazin Mirko, circa 1890, two bids at 2800. Silver Mounted Violin Bow by Charles Nicholas Bazin Mirko, circa 1890, one bid at 1800. Silver Mounted Violin Bow by Auguste Barbe Mirko, circa 1895, two bid, bids 2200. Silver Mount of Island Bow by Jacques Audinot, Paris. Um, no bids on that one so far. A Violin, Austria, circa 1800. One bid, four and a half thousand. This one I did look at, I thought it was fairly interesting. Length back 35.7. And a Violin by George Klotz II, Mittwald, 1765. Two bids, six and a half thousand is the uh, bid. One 35.9 length of back. A violin, probably Italy, circa 1860, four bids, 4,200 is the estimate on that. 35.6 is the length of back. Violin, circle of Francois Lot, Piquet. Francois Louis Piquet, France, circa 1820. No bids on that so far. 35.9 length of back. And a violin attributed to Matthias Albani, South Tyrol, mid 18th century, one bid, 5,500. 36.2. Violin by Massimo Negroni, Cremona, 2021. Uh, no bids on that so far. 35.8. Um, Sold a certificate of the maker, Cremona, dated 15th September 2021. And X Flesh, uh, X Shudi, a violin workshop with Jean Baptiste Vion, Paris, circa 1875. One bid, 42,050 to 80 is the estimate. It's kind of a lower tier Vion, despite the kind of association. 35.6 is length of back. Certificate of beer violins from 2022, so that's good. Valuation from JNA Beer, 1968, and certificate from. Hug and Co. Zurich, 1945. Violin was sold by Hug and Co. to Professor Carl Flesch in 1943. Then he later sold it to a Swiss businessman, uh, Daniel Schudi, who was married to Hungarian violinist Joanna Marzi. Schudi sold the violin to the current owner, his niece, in 1956. There we go. Very interesting. Uh, a violin probably by Pierre Gagini, niece, circa 1950. One bid of 5,000 there. Interesting scroll, 35.7. And a violin by Enrico Politi, Rome, circa 1920. 12,000 is the bid on that. 35.7 is the length of back. Violin probably by Thomas Kennedy, London, circa 1850. No bids on this one so far. 36 is the length of back. Violin by August Sebastian Philippe Bernadel, Mirko, circa 1865, one bid of 13,000 on that. 16 to 22 is the estimate, 35.9 is the length of back. Violin Mirko, circa 1900, no bids on this so far, 35.9 is the length of back. And a violin by Luigi Ocoli, Pistoia, 2019, no bids on that. 
um, 35.6 is the length of the back certificate of the maker from 2020 so this is the maker that I've mentioned before in some other videos that is in every auction and it is in the kind of the Brompton's auction that just finished the Teresio auction just finished and also this one that's just about to finish um, tomorrow so I saw two out of the three in person and I have to say that this particular one was actually the nicest it's a really beautiful back these are they were well made I mean I'm not really sure how uh, about the sounds because I didn't try them but uh, well made like very neat very tidy nice choice of woods actually quite nice varnish I thought quite nice actually uh, I have to say I did I was quite impressed uh, definitely interesting uh, be interesting to see what people think of them from a player's point of view but definitely curious violin after the King Joseph Guarneri by Georges Mugenot Brussels 1896 two bids it's 5,000 35.7 is the length of the back. Violin by Camillo Camilli, Mantua, circa 1750. Two bids on that, 50,000, one of the kind of greatest uh, Mantuan makers and one of the kind of important makers. Uh, a certificate, uh, 35.4 is the length of the back. Certificate from Hammer from 1938. William Moaning and Son, 1966. Uh, interesting maker. Violin by David uh, Negroni, Cremona 2021. Interesting back. 35.6 uh, is the length of back. Sold with certificate of the maker. And a violin by uh, Camilo Mandelli, Milan 1944. Two bids on that 10,000. 10 to 15,000 is the uh, estimate. 35.5 is the length of back. Violin by James William Briggs, Glasgow 1999. One bid on that, 4,000. And it's 35.6 is the length of back. Violin by Justin Derazi, Mirko 1877. Two bids on that, 8.5, so 8 to 12 is the uh, estimate. 35.7. A violin by Giovanni Battista Cerucci, Cremona 1804. Uh, 65,000 uh, is the current bid, 80 to 120 is the estimate. It's quite a fine. Looking back on that instrument, 34.7 is the uh, length of back. Violin for Keith Prowse and Co. Bet School, London, early 19th century. Uh, no bids on that so far. 35.6 is the length of back. And a violin probably by Matthias Albani, Balzano, circa 1700. One bid of 18,000. And the length of back on that, 35.3. And a violin England late 19th century, uh, no bids on that so far. 35.9 uh, is the length of back. Violin early 20th century, no bids on that so far. 35.7 length of back. Violin by Sebastian Klotz I, Mittenwald, 1755, six and a half is the current bid. Estimate is eight to 12,000, quite a nice looking example, 35.6. Got a ramp on certificate. And a violin by Stefano Scarampella, Mantua, circa 1910. Three bids, 70,000 so far. 70 to 100,000 is the estimate there. 35.6 is the length of back. Sold a certificate of Peter Bidolf. And a violin, South Germany, late 18th century. One bid of 4,500 there. 35.6 and has a bow. Uh, in a case and a composite violin mantua mid 18th century uh, 12,000 is the current bid 12 to 18,000 is the estimate uh, I think this was in one of the previous auctions 35.5 uh, this is one of the ones I was most interested in but I have to say in person it just seems so polished like different to uh, the pictures it just seemed like it was extra over polished but that's just my thing I think but I found it a bit difficult to kind of look at it in detail because of that. A violin, Bolognese school, early 18th century, one bid on that, 4,800. This was one of the more interesting ones, which wasn't polished, because obviously it's in need of restoration. 35.4, uh, it's a length of back, but that was a, an interesting violin for sure. Violin by Gandon Bernadel, Frere, uh, Paris 1869, four bids, 20,000. 20 to 30 is the estimate, these are always popular. 35.9 is the length of the back. Rample certificate. 
violin by Matteo Goffrilla, Venice, circa 1715. No bids on that so far. And the estimate is 70 to 100. It's 35.9 is the length of back, certificate of JNA beer. A uh, violin ascribed to Thomas Dodd, England, early 19th century. No bids on this. This was one of the ones I was most interested in looking at, but once again, this one was just a bit too over polished really for me to be able to look at it properly 35.3 it's the length of the back uh, sold certificate of w.e hills and sons from 1925 and a violin workshop of giuseppe fiorini munich 1911 one bid on that 14,000. estimate is 18 to 25 length of back is 35.8 and a violin mittenwald circa 1718 no bids on that so far and definitely an interesting scroll on that one 35.2 length of back sold to a seat from w e hills and sons from 1944 that's an interesting time to be buying a violin um a violin by gitano garda mantra circa 1930 one bid of 16,000 on that 20 to 30 is the estimate um 35.6 is the length of back and uh, the very last one is a violin by Giuseppe Rocca, Genoa, 1846. No bid so far, 180 to 250,000 is the uh, estimate. Usually very popular, so it'd be interesting to see if this, uh, oh, I've uh, closed my window, uh, to see if that uh, sells or not. Um, Sold with certificate of reunion and son, Boston dated 8th of January 2018, so it's 35.5 is the uh, length of back. So there we go. Uh, and that is it. That is the entirety of um, of the auction. Uh, it's interesting enough. Uh, I think we've seen uh, better ones, to be honest, but it's definitely kind of worth uh, looking at for sure um, so yeah like I said some good interesting things there some of the stuff I found a bit over polished I didn't look at everything in detail in person um, but definitely some things to consider there uh, and obviously some bids already underway so yeah this will finish tomorrow um, and yeah the link will be in the description check it out and see what you think so once again thanks for watching uh, and then till next time ciao for now bye Many thanks for tuning in to the Musical Instrument Investigator. I hope that you enjoyed the video. If you did, then please like, uh, subscribe and turn on notifications and watch out for the next video coming soon.